This film is about a unique charity, Action Against Medical Accidents, or ASMA for short, the UK charity for patient safety and justice. You will hear not only about the vital work that ASMA does in supporting people affected by medical accidents, but also its work in raising awareness and campaigning to improve patient safety and the way the system responds to victims, and in bringing health professionals, lawyers, and patients together to improve practice. Error in healthcare is quite common. Something like one in ten people admitted to hospital uh, suffer some form of error, not all of it serious, of course, but on a scale which wouldn't be acceptable in other high-risk industries. Paul was, um, he was in hospital. He had um, non-Hodgkin's -Hodg lymphoma. He was being treated um, with chemotherapy. Um, he had a suspected fungal infection and he was um, given amphotericin. He was given a massive overdose of that drug and died as a consequence to that. I later found out about the overdose and um, just couldn't believe that this could possibly ever happen. Um, since Paul's death, there has been a number of other deaths due to drug overdoses and um, my aim is to try to prevent this from ever happening to families again. I approached AVMA very shortly after my father's death in 2006. Early in 2006, my, my father died most unexpectedly when we took my father in as an emergency patient. We knew that we wanted to, to bring a complaint against the Trust we were clear that there was just grounds for a complaint, but AVMA helped us to understand the rules to clarify to whom we needed to complain, how we needed to set the complaint out, and within what time limit. Both expertise and independence is where AVMA comes in, because often when something goes wrong within the health service, uh, there is a breakdown of trust. And it's not easy then for the victim and their family to trust the healthcare system to put things right and explain things. So having um, a critical friend beside them uh, in the shape of an organisation like AVMA is absolutely essential. I wish I knew about AVMA from the very beginning because I was just left to get on with things. I didn't know which way to turn. AVMA have helped me tremendously um, to push what I think is right and to try to stop further tragedies in the future. I was reassured from the beginning when I spoke to the helpline that, that we was going to get very valuable help. Um, I first phoned the helpline very soon after um, my father's death and w was so impressed from the beginning that I was clearly speaking to somebody who was sympathetic and had experience of people dealing with this sort of um, trauma and embarking on the long and complicated road of making a complaint. So from the beginning, I received focused, helpful and sympathetic advice, even from the first conversation. Good morning, Action Against Medical Accidents. How may I help you? The helpline is very important because it could very well be the first port of call for a patient or their families to get in touch to find out as to what their rights are and what they can do. I have been involved as um, a volunteer for the um, helpline for over four years now. And, um, you know, through that time, it's been quite useful. It's an invaluable resource for me. Um, to tell you how much I've loved, you know, working with AVMA, I've then gone on actually to become a trustee of AVMA and, um, for the past two years or so and um, have enjoyed it thoroughly. It's been quite an eye-opener for me because quite a lot of issues as a clinician that I had no idea of how to deal with. Now, being a trustee and still a volunteer on the help helpline, it's been absolutely, you know, for me, phenomenal in terms of the amount of information that I've learned. And as a doctor, it's been so useful in my daily practice because 
the issues that I've had to deal with are the issues that um, we face as doctors every every day. And um, having been exposed to it, I'm, I'm now quite well informed. I know exactly what to do, how to deal with issues, how to formulate policies to prevent this sort of events from happening again. Asthma um, is very good at helping individuals like myself. Um, I couldn't just campaign on my own. I possibly wouldn't be taken seriously. You need an organisation that deals with um, tragedies, patient safety, um, to help um, get, the, get your voice heard because on your own, nobody's going to take no notice and you need an organisation like AVMA to help people take you seriously. They have transformed the legal scene so far as the management of cases involving medical injuries is concerned. When I first started doing this work many years ago, solicitors could do it, any solicitor could do it, and many of them had no idea uh, of the intricacies and complexities of bringing a medical claim. And two things happened. Either they didn't know what to do at all and did everything wrongly, or many of them did, some of them did. Alternatively, they were kind of like a rabbit in the headlights, frozen and frightened by what they faced and couldn't um, find a way through the minefield, which it sometimes is. I think Avon has been at the forefront of putting together really quite specialist conferences, seminars and so on to help solicitors and barristers too who do the work keep abreast of developments both in medical terms and in the legal world where cases and the principles are quite important when you bring a case against a professional medical man or woman. The great achievement of ABMA is to bring on the concept that you must be specialised in order to do this work and the panel of solicitors, specialist solicitors, has been I think a great boon. It's ensured that anyone who does suffer a medical accident gets dealt with by solicitors who really do know how to do the job. AVMA are very constructive, even though they bring a critical perspective, rightly so, because they have the experience of hundreds and hundreds of uh, families over the years who've experienced harm, and they bring that richness of experience, but in a constructively critical way. So I think that's the great value of AVMA, the experience, but also the constructiveness of the dialogue, uh, without obviously standing back from some hard truths that need to be got across to the NHS and continue to need to be got across to the NHS. It's vitally important that, that AVMA has a, a profound voice and a role in promoting patient safety generally. I'm conscious and impressed with how often AVMA delves into issues which have patient safety, clinical negligence implications, looks critically at any current development in this area, takes a position, investigates thoroughly, publishes a useful position paper on the website and, and has a voice that, that influences government, influences parliament, influences other decision makers, issues like the amendments to the complaints system, which I'm conscious has been a live issue over recent years. Um, I think AVMA's input and, and the clear voice that AFMA has as a voice for patient safety is vital. If I can try to make positive changes come out of Paul's death and stop just one person from going through what we're all going through then that's what I want to achieve. If you believe in patient safety and justice perhaps you could support the work of AFMA. Being such a specialist charity ADMA finds it even harder than other good causes to raise much-needed funds and relies on the help of its supporters and volunteers. Mm -hmm.